Equity is about understanding yourself as a racial and cultural being and understanding how race and culture work in our society. Equity, in a general sense, is doing what is right for an individual because it's right for them. In the sense of a school, equity is giving every student what they need so that they can exit our system and actually make it in the world. We need to build equity in our schools because there are pockets of students who are succeeding in a fabulous way. And there are pockets of students who are in the same classrooms, getting the same instruction, having what we think is the same experience, but the outcome is different. The purpose of the equity unit is to help people look at their, the way we educate, the way we organize learning, the way we organize as a school system to support the diverse kids from our county. Our biggest goal is to eliminate student achievement predictability by race. How we get there is through cultural proficiency, through um, culturally responsive teaching, through having authentic conversations and courageous conversations that focus on race and understand how race impacts the lives of students on a daily basis. Our director got us these t-shirts that say I am on the front and on the back the number one equity strategy. That really means the work begins with me. Our role is actually to support and work shoulder to shoulder and help each member of our school community be empowered to be that person that leads for equity. The purpose of the equity unit is to support administrators, to support teachers, to support supporting staff, anyone who plays a part in the life of a child. We are there to say, here are some best practices for how to actualize or operationalize equity. The equity unit does one-on-one -on -one coaching with schools, administrators, staff development teachers. We also offer lots of different training opportunities for all members of our school community to deepen their understanding of equity, to gain new skills. We work a lot with the leadership team, specifically around the school improvement plan. We also team up with study circles and offer team building that help a team be able to talk about race and culture. Equity is one of our core values. So this is our identity as a school system of committing ourselves to eliminating racial inequities. It's, it's who we are and it's what we do. So you've got to believe that you are the number one strategy, that you do have the power, that you do have the tools, that you can make that difference. The benefits are that you have all kids performing well. Kids and their families feel connected to the school. Working with the Equity Unit will help provide an awareness. It will help you see your work through a different lens. The Equity Initiatives Unit challenges you. It asks you some hard questions, but produces some pretty awesome results. As an equity specialist, we tailor our work to the needs of the school. When I first go into a school, I want to know what work have you done with equity? Where do you see your opportunity gaps with students or with staff? By no way do we go in with a prescriptive plan and say, take this pill and you'll be fixed. We want to hear where you are, value the experience and the uh, learning you have planned already. And then we build the capacity of the leadership team to actually carry the work forward themselves. But we're always there with them. Porsche is our equity instructional specialist and she really has been a phenomenal support for us. Our school improvement plan is focused on our black and Hispanic male students and so we're utilizing the equity unit to explore how we can be more conscious so we can support them. So the watershed is like a piece of paper. What we did today is we went out and shadowed students who were on our ineligibility list and then we came back and talked about what we saw and it was really eye-opening. So we started building um, a more equitable environment with really engaging the leadership team um, in the training. And then the leadership team really engaging the full staff. And this year we have a student leadership group. We are now a team of student leaders. The student leadership diversity team was established. They meet regularly to discuss a plan, an action plan, as to how are we going to roll out all that we've learned, all that we know, how do we share that with the student body and make a positive impact and a change in our school culture? And to talk about what can we do to try to eradicate and as the kids say, stomp out racism and prejudices. One of the schools I've been working with over the last several years is Brown Station Elementary School. They were interested in resources and in studying further how to 
support the African American and Latino students. My role was to learn the school story. Charles worked very closely with our core team over the summer and he's continued throughout the year to meet with us on a monthly basis to look at where we are and where we're going. He helps us to plan our staff meetings, our staff trainings, and he is a part of our community. Our school instructional focus was on culturally responsive teaching. Um, and through that work, we examined closer the concept of caring and what that means for students and how teachers relay their caring. My work with Brown Station started with the leadership team and spread to the larger staff with time. And we studied literature about culturally responsive teaching. It was suggested by our team leaders to do a book study to read Geneva Gay's Culturally Responsive Teaching. We discussed things like how we can communicate to all of our students, how our personal life and our biases affect our teaching, and how to overcome that so that all students can learn from us. This learning has helped me realize that we need to celebrate our students' differences and be responsive to their needs. The Whitman Cluster is gathering because they realize that their particular equity issues aren't like many of the other schools. They don't have the diversity. We have a, a wonderful trainer named Kim Bishop, and he takes us through various exercises to educate us and to expand our capacities. We will then find, work with Kim to find ways to do similar kinds of trainings at our schools, at our respective schools. And, and so with the statements that you've generated, we're gonna have you read your statement. So we developed and designed and delivered um, customized professional learning just for the Whitman Cluster. They identified a need to create global citizens. I would try to make it as clear as possible. We have two goals, really, to build global understanding for our children, to help them as they, they become more educated and move on to job responsibilities. And the other is to make sure that the teachers have the strategies they need to make sure that all children are being successful. Our unit offers modules. We have Elevating the Black Male, Latino Culture, Operationalizing Equity 101, Operationalizing Equity 102, which deals with critical race theory, Coaching for Equity, Leading for Equity. The modules actually give us more time to go into depth about discussing race, and so we have hundreds of teachers who sign up for these modules say, hey, I need some hands-on tools um, to address the changing demographics of my school and to help me be a more proficient educator. And um, we're on a five and we go to the outside, what do our numbers end in? I have taken a lot from these courses. It's really helped me to um, think about and reflect upon myself and how that influences the practices that I exhibit um, and the messages that I send out to students. I took the Elevating the Black Male module. The first day of the module, it talks about the perils of the black male. So, you know, all the things that are against them. And then the second day, what can we do as educators so that they can be successful in their education and in their careers and in their life? Because so many staff members have participated in this training, teachers are beginning to share these practices with one another, having um, conversations about the resources and the materials that they are going to present to their students. They are able to infuse it into their teams, into the PLCs that we have. Um, it's really making teachers think about uh, how they're communicating their expectations and making sure they have high expectations for all students. The Study Circles program is not a training. It's an opportunity for diverse staff, leaders, parents, students to come together to build relationships and to begin to learn from each other and have honest conversations about the barriers, uh, racial barriers to student achievement and parent engagement in their schools. By engaging in study circles, we hope to create a foundation for us to, to engage in difficult conversations through learning more about each other and learning about perhaps our own preconceptions, or our own cultural histories. And the other thing that we hope to gain from engaging in study circles is to create an awareness amongst our leadership team about possible barriers that all of our students have as they enter our building and to be able to address those barriers so that students can be successful. The benefits of study circles is to get a deeper understanding of staff members and their backgrounds in order to support and educate students to close the achievement gap. 
And Study Circles helps people develop that trust and the ability to share the things that are on their minds. Our ultimate goal is to have a cultural shift in the school where they begin understanding the experiences of their students of color and it becomes a natural way of doing business in their schools. The Equity and Excellence in Education Graduate Certificate Program is a 15 credit, five course certificate through McDaniel College. It was developed in conjunction with MCPS, MCEA, and the college. So the purpose of the program was to try to create a course sequence that would assist educators in developing a stance about issues of equity and excellence here in Montgomery County. For students in the program, it gives them the tools to analyze their curriculum, their pedagogy, how they look at students. But ultimately, as they leave the program in our action research course and our leadership course, our goal is for them to become change agents here in the system. People who are involved in this program call themselves equity warriors because they are willing to do whatever it takes in their work sites to address inequities. Um, asking difficult questions of themselves, their colleagues, the curriculum they teach, school policies and procedures. All right, guys. Yes, I'm a graduate of the uh, Excellence in Equity and Education program. I realized from taking the course is how many students don't feel validated in their culture. They feel like they are overlooked. One of the ways that the course helped me to relate to students of all ethnicities really was to drive home the fact that there is no single story, there is no one experience for each ethnicity. There are many perspectives. You have to take all those into account as an educator. The way I'm interacting with students now, I believe, has really helped to motivate my students. So because they feel validated, because they feel like their culture matters and I respect and honor their viewpoint as shaped through their culture. That helps them to be more engaged, that helps to build relationships. It's really helping them to achieve um, and to grow in the classroom.